I'm officially scared. Dear God. <laughs> Clicking to when the new carpet is down. Hello everyone, I really hope that you're doing well. I just wanted to jump on here and provide a little bit of context for you because past me just seems to have jumped straight into DIY and not provided any lay down or introduction. So thank you, past me. If you have been following along, I have already done multiple videos on this bedroom makeover. You can obviously watch them here and I have them in a playlist on my channel as well. If you've not watched those videos, a quick summary would be that we have torn down some built-in wardrobes, We've replastered, painted, wallpapered the lot. Um, <laughs> it's been a long process. So what is left to do is going to be in this video. It's going to be the last of the DIY process and then the next video can be furniture, nice little dabbling in interiors I guess rather than the bare bones. <laughs> this video is the last of the bare bones thing. So we are painting a radiator black, we're painting a door frame black, we're putting up a curtain pole, we're clearing the room, we're ripping up the old carpet and we're laying the new carpet down. It's all very exciting. I think there might be some spoilers here, so don't look at them. <laughs> I'm gonna stop babbling on and uh, enjoy the video. <laughs> all the wall so that I really want to protect my freshly painted walls. I am planning to paint the radiator with this bad boy. V33's radiator paint in cast iron so it's essentially gonna be like a cast iron effect. I just wanted to try it to be honest. So we'll see how we go with that. I think it'll look really pretty with the kind of colours within the room and obviously we are going for a black door frame when I get around to painting that. Black door handles, black curtain pole. So I think it's going to look sickening. I'm going to attempt to apply this. I've already sanded down the radiator and I have like degreased it a little bit and um, cleaned it up. According to all the tutorials, I'm ready to go. Quick little tip. If you're doing a long day of DIY and Kendall Ray, she does crime videos, true crime, she does like story times that are like an hour long and they just like go through a case, murder cases and stuff like that. And it's dead fun and interesting and I really enjoy it. So if you're a fan of that sort of thing, Kendall Ray. I'm currently watching the Pam Hup murder. It's very interesting, very interesting. So I'm gonna press play. I'm gonna paint my radiator. And they knew right away that no reputable examiner. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got like sparkles in it. I don't know if that scares me. I don't know if I should have just got like matte lick paint in black, black 01 or something like that. But I'm slightly scared. I can't lie to you. That looks scary to me. But we're just gonna go for it. Start by painting the angles, mouldings and joints of the surface. Work on small surfaces. Apply from one end to the other. Follow with successive cross strokes. Like a dish. <laughs> Leave it to dry for six hours. Okay, I'm officially scared. I'm just gonna go and get a fresh chopstick. Okay, I am officially quite scared with how that uh, first coat has come out, but 
everyone says it looks freaky on the first coat and then it's like the, the next coat i think it's going to take quite a few coats to sort this out but i've used like barely any paint i don't know you definitely can't see and i'm not planning on pouring this on the car but it's very expensive but it's literally taken like that much of the little tub so i've got a good sort of three four coats probably if i keep going like this but it's six hours between coats i think this is going to be a lengthy lengthy job but i'm willing to do it you know i am willing to do it because i think it's going to look really good if i do it properly first coat on just thought i would take you along for the ride it looks so bad on the camera first coat dear lord uh christ almighty does not look great <laughs> yeah boys i like the colors check in soon I'm on really low battery so I just thought I would do a super quick update Um, it's the next day and I've done a second coat on here it's already looking better and I can finally I can see the vision I'm very excited about it so I got up really early and did that so I'm chuffed with that so I've set a timer six hours time I'm gonna be putting another coat on I feel like three coats might be enough we'll see and um, but if not four and will be sorted it's still looking patchy obviously i've been doing those crisscrossy motions but the overall vibe is looking pretty good it's got a real sheen to it which looks smart if you know me i'm very much a matte girl when it comes to interiors i really like matte walls i don't enjoy a gloss paint like on your door frames or anything i always just get like satin even just you know i don't really enjoy a sheen and this is incredibly sheeny but i don't know if it's like is it a vibe i'm gonna go with it do the amount of coats you know that it needs for it to look like it should my idea was to kind of like test out this product um on this radiator and then I can always then get more for the rest of the radiators because I need to paint the living room one as well. So let's just see. I need to kind of like see how I feel living in this room, seeing the finish of the radiator. Am I thinking, oh, you're too shiny, <laughs> me eyes. But at the same time, I think it looks quite like cool almost that it is sheeny for some reason it's coming up like a legitimate mirror on this um camera it's not like that sheeny but it is sheeny so we'll see i'm gonna apply third coat now it's been an intense day to be fair i've got my checklist here and i've literally like checked off all of these and this it's doing good it's doing good off to being q to collect my click and collect order of one thing uh v33 radiator spray paint got to get the inside of that radiator you know what i mean but uh yeah let's go on gotta make these journeys do you know what i mean gotta do it let me take a selfie anyone remember that song atrocious anyway let's go I'm at the wrong B&Q, aren't I? And they um, wouldn't uh, talk to me. I didn't get served for like 15 minutes. And then they've told me I'm at the wrong B&Q. I could swear I ordered to this b and I know I'm dim, but I swear this wasn't my fault. I'm talking like this because I've realized there's a van driver in his car right in front of me. Anyway, I'm off to another B&Q. Kill me. It took two B&Qs. But I've got it. I've f***ing got it, guys. <laughs> and now I'm desperate for a wee. Wide and steady movements. Cool. 
Yeah, that one's got a smell too. Are it? Just be careful. Okay. <laughs> Beer. God. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff is intense. I'm done. You probably can't hear me because of the mask, but wow. Look at the inside now. That's made such a difference. And it's turned it from looking like a bit of an unprofessional job to I'm going to say I think it looks like epic. I'm chuffed with that. <sighs> Gotta let it dry now. I need to leave this room because I think I'm going to get a headache and pass out. Right, I was just going to jump straight into painting the bedroom door frame, but genuinely that bedroom smells like it could kill me right now. Um, so I've opened all the windows and I'm going to try and just let it air for a little bit. But I wanted to talk to you about the paint I'm planning. Ooh, why isn't this working? Excuse this. It's one of those days I was wearing a jumper over it. Now I'm not. Live with it. Bedroom paint. We got this again from Valspar in b and Got it mixed. I picked a colour called Black Bean. I don't know quite exactly what I was thinking. I don't know. I overthought it. I got very stressed in the store. There's too many swatches. I got very, very, very overwhelmed. And I think I picked a colour just because there was pressure. She said, we've got a straight black if you'd like it. Roll yourselves back. I would like to paint the door frames black and then have like nice oak doors. That is my plan. Um, because I've got loads of black accents in the house. So just kind of tones in nicely. However, I was like, oh, is black very flat do you know what i mean that that's what worried me so i was like do i get some sort of tone of black uh, uh, can i just show you it might not come up great on camera is it got yeah it is it's like a really dark brown oh you can tell oh, I, look, I think it might even be coming up browner on camera oh god i can't lie to you it's really worrying us I don't want brown door frames that was never me plan <laughs> i wanted black i don't know what to do i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna paint it on i've got to taking them from like yellow to dark brown and then if i'm like no sir need like a black black it'll only need like one or two coats you know it, it won't be like a big job to then take it to black black it'll just be a bit of a waste of money i haven't made one of these mistakes yet where i've like actually just fully wasted something or you know not thought about something enough and then regretted it but i feel like this might be the start of that journey <laughs> i will cut now to me painting this on i am not gonna frog tape the side of the door frame that backs into the bedroom just because of all the trouble we had with the flakiness of the other valspar paint for the walls so i'm just gonna have to freehand that so that'll be a nice challenge for me nat Hello, one and all. It's the day of all days. It's the day of all days. We've got a beautifully freshly painted radiator. 
removing all the newspaper it looks epic i'm just gonna say it i think that looks sickeningly good the spray paint along there has really made a difference so just to kind of recommend fully these products that i've used got both of these from b&q so i use like the radiator paint for the outside and then the spray for the inside really recommend that i'm not going to open this because it's messy stuff but i'd say we've still got like half of a thing so here we've probably got enough for a second radiator so you'll be seeing that again soon we have gotten three coats on the door frame i'm officially convinced by the black it looks slightly strange i think it's like with the carpet which isn't going to exist this is a sample of kind of the sort of floor that we'll be going for and i literally am obsessed with like that sort of contrast so that's more what it's going to be like. But yeah, once we get like a matte black light switch, matte black plug socket. Oh, I think it's going to look amazing. Here's it from the other side. Excuse the uh, drying rack. But against the picture frames, oh, I just think it's so cool. Obviously, it's kind of surrounded by things that are going to change. But I absolutely love it the brown black situation that i was worried about as soon as i did like a second coat it just like basically looks black which is a good thing in my eyes i'm really happy with the color that's the updates for carpets tomorrow. I can't lie to you, I couldn't be wishing more that we lived somewhere where we could just have nice floorboards. Cause I think they look so nice in the space. Look how beautiful it is. I know obviously they're not in the greatest condition, but it's the vision, it's the idea of having wood flooring in here. Oh, in another life, in another life. I just love wood, me. I just love wood. But I can already feel every time I walk, I'm like, the downstairs neighbours can literally feel how many toes are on the ground, like at each step. So, definitely not practical. The room is clear, the echo is present, which means we're going to get some work done tomorrow. And I'm very excited about it clicking to when the new carpet is down. The lighting is absolutely atrocious, like it could not be worse. It's been like that awful rainy day where it's not stopped raining all day, it's been like stormy and it's dark as anything. So apologies, they've just left. I've got a fresh ass carpet. We're determined to sleep in here tonight just to be like, ha ha ha, fresh bedroom. So I think it makes sense for this video to kind of end here. And then the next video will be furnishing, making it like a proper lush bedroom. I've currently got no door, so <laughs> getting the door hung, furnishing, interior, all that fun stuff. One thing that I did not film, I managed to um, stick up a curtain pole. A little bit of help from Tom. I hope you can kind of get an idea. I think it looks really hella cohesive. And I have the curtains ready to get done, but I'll do that in the next video. Light, oh, I love it so much. And our carpet, which like, I don't think can be very exciting. I mean, it's a carpet at the end of the day. It's like a greyishy, beigey grey colour. It's very nice. <laughs> We got it from Frank's flooring store, if you care at all. It goes really well with the room and we are chuffed with it. I will end this video here, I think. The next one, it'll be in better lighting and we'll do the fun decorating bits.
I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please stick it a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe to me if you want to continue on this journey. I'm trying to post quite kind of regular vlogs, keeping you well up to date with the progress. I know for a fact that we're just gonna be so excited to kind of get this room looking epic. So yeah, subscribe if you aren't already. Have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.